everybody welcome back thanks for tuning in and just to let you know if you watch my videos before I usually take little videos throughout the week and this week I haven't managed to do anything I took some videos yesterday so they are coming up and just it's been such a busy week I was at university Monday Tuesday nine till five and it's just when you have a nine till five at university especially because I live in Stourbridge so Going from Stourbridge to Birmingham, it takes just over an hour, so I have to leave really early in the morning to be there on time for nine o'clock. Then coming home, five o'clock traffic is a nightmare, but schools have broke up now, so hopefully the traffic's not going to be as bad. So on Monday, we had our next case study launch, it was with, which is our patient, Audrey, and she's got sepsis. So it was all about assessing Audrey, what she's presenting you with, and what her symptoms could mean. So she's got a whole range of symptoms. So she's got a high respiratory rate, high um, pulse rate. Her blood pressure's dropped from normal, even though it's in the normal ranges, 108 to 74. Her normal ranges is a lot higher than that. So it's dropped, which she's cool, she's clammy, she's sweaty in, all these different things. And you have to piece together, okay, what could be wrong? So you rule out infection, you do the blood testing, you do a scan on her chest because she might have a chest infection. Anyway, further down the line you find out she's got sepsis once you've ruled out other things. She has got sepsis. What is sepsis? If you don't know what sepsis is, sepsis is basically your body's immune response slash reaction to an initial infection. So someone might have a chest infection or a urinary tract infection and unfortunately your body doesn't respond to it as it should so then you end up with that infection into the bloodstream and it's a systematic infection of the whole body it's not just in one place anymore it's widespread so that's basically i hope i've got that right um that's basically the lowdown of what sepsis is sounds like a really complicated situation to be in but with the right recognition and the right management of sepsis you can get it you can nip it in the bud and save a patient's life so it's really important to recognize the signs and symptoms and the right assessment of a patient to prevent sepsis from spreading any further and resulting in the death of your patient so sepsis it is quite serious I mean I've reading up on it it seems to be quite rare but you keep hearing it so it is on the rise we had a great two days on Monday Tuesday I love learning about all of these things and it's with our first patient Adam that I spoke about last time and this patient Audrey, they've got two different things. One of them's DKA and one of them's sepsis. So even though they've got two very different things, they're both resulting in hypovolemic shock because it's both resulting, both their conditions is resulting in a low, um, a low blood volume for whatever reason. So then they're going into that hypovolemic shock and it's really nice. Like I've, I've just loved connecting all the pieces. And on Monday and Tuesday, I was listening to the lecturer and I was writing my notes. I was like, oh my God, this makes sense. This makes sense. This all connects. It's amazing. I love that from first year when I didn't know anything, I was just like, oh, what the hell's the cardiovascular system? And I used to say all these ridiculous things like, I don't even know this. I'm going to have to revise so much. I taught myself, I think, pretty much everything in first year because I wasn't the sort of person that could sit and listen at that time. So I went home, I went on the Khan Academy, I went on all these different websites, I taught myself everything about the different anatomy and the systems. And now today I'm listening and I'm like, I understand what she's saying, I know what she's saying, yes. And it's so nice, you have no idea how nice that is to be able to do that. And it just, it makes my day. Anyway, I'm getting emotional because I'm thinking about it and thinking how far I've come. It's just, it's great. So then Wednesday, Thursday, I was off. And do you know what? I have avoided everything like the plague. I thought, do you know what? I'm not gonna do anything for two days. I'm doing nothing. I'm gonna spend my life on social media. Um, I say doing nothing, but social media is kind of something. But uh, I literally, I thought, do you know what? I'm not, I'm putting my work aside because I've done so much. I've done everything. I've done pretty much most of my work and all that I've got left now is my assignment, a 2000 word assignment. And I've, I've even started that. I've, I've started and I've got about 500 words. So I've got 1,500 words left of this assignment. And that's not gonna be handed in till September. So I'm really on top of things. So I decided to take two days out to just do social media, do some blogging. 
and just chill out a little bit. And on Wednesday evening, I ended up going to the cinema. So we all went to watch um, Ocean's 8 and it was great. It was a really good film. I really enjoyed it. It's not one of those films that I would say, oh my God, it's amazing. You have to see this film because you have to see it. It's not as good as that, but it's easy to watch. It's funny. Yeah. It's, it's a good movie. And then Friday we had our healthcare awards ceremony. Oh. I was invited along as part of the HARS team. Um, I've talked about the HARS before. If you don't know what HARS is, it's the High Achieving Recognition Scheme at my university, which celebrates success in those that achieve high, basically. The Healthcare Awards is awards given to students, to lecturers, anyone that's been nominated for an award, basically, for anything they've done or anything they've achieved, overcoming things and it was just such a nice day. So I was there part of the Haas team and I thought we were there because Juliet who runs the Haas team, I thought we were there because she was going to get an award for all of her hard work and recognition and she stood up and she was talking and then she was like I just want to present this award to all of my Haas scholars. I was like what? Does that mean we have to go up on stage? And I was there, I was just baffled. I was like, no one told me I had to go up. No one told me I was like gonna receive a certificate or anything. Like, I was so, I was panicking because I had these heels on. I had these, let me show you. So I had these heels on and they don't actually look that big, I don't think from there, but apparently they're three inches tall. I haven't worn them for probably about two years, almost two years now. So I forgot what it was like to walk in them and my feet were aching and then so when she said that we had to go up I was like oh my god what do I do my shoes were off my shoes were off my feet and I ran as fast as I could onto the stage barefoot and to get a photo with the team and then I was like oh my god I've got bare feet what have I just done um everyone's gonna laugh at me so I just I ran as fast as I could I was like get your head down run no one will notice take a picture go run back to your seat as fast as I could oh I was so nervous I didn't expect it and I was like oh my god so I'm chuffed I got like a little certificate let me show you the certificate so look here it is Claire Carmichael student nurse has been awarded the scholarship as part of the high achievers recognition scheme that's me <laughs> I'm chuffed <laughs> It's nice to show your achievements, I think, sometimes, because sometimes you do feel a bit down and you think, oh, I'm not good enough, I can't do this. So when you get something like that, it's just, it's so nice to just think, actually, do you know what? I can do this, I am good enough. And I've always put myself down academically, thinking, I can't do this. Before starting this course, I always put myself down, I always thought, do you know what? I don't know how I'm gonna do. I don't know, by the end when I get to that dissertation, I've got to write thousands of words. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. And if I'm gonna fail, it's gonna be in third year. And I panicked so much. And now I'm halfway through the course and getting these amazing grades that I never even dreamed I could ever achieve. I'm thinking 4,000 words for a dissertation. Actually, it's not a dissertation anymore. It's called something else like A, P, I don't, I, all these letters that I don't understand um, but it's 4,000 words and I'm thinking 4,000 words is not going to be enough like I'm going to have to write a lot so I just I think it's amazing how far you come on this course and I keep saying this if you're looking into nursing it will change you and it will change you for the better and it will improve you and it will make you believe in yourself it's nursing well how can nursing do that that's what I thought when someone said that to me but do you know what it does it will change you and if you think that you're not academic enough I'm here today to tell you you are because if I can do it you can do it don't have any fear please please don't be scared get the help go to your personal development department get all the help advice tips hints everything you can put them into place listen to all the feedback on board that from your first assignment that you do and just improve yourself and you'll be amazing oh. So I feel like I've just spoken 101 words an hour. So sorry about that. Anyway, back to Friday. Friday was amazing. So it was a great day. It was so nice to see everyone go up and get their awards. Someone got a unicorn. She got this um, this award, and it's in. It was. It was in a. Oh, I can't even speak because I'm so excited. It was a unicorn. Is this beautiful? I think it was brass or bronze statue of a unicorn sort of up on its heels and it was just beautiful. I love unicorns. 
but all these people had such an amazing achievements and awards and it was a great celebration and the food don't get me started on the free lunch I'm gonna show you now the free lunch was amazing I mean I didn't go for the free lunch some might dispute that <laughs> including myself I definitely went for the free lunch it was really good it's the best chicken I've ever tasted so thank you to Edge Baston Cricket Ground absolutely amazing if you go into an event or anything at the cricket ground sign up for the food <laughs> And it was just, it was just such a lovely day and I was so honoured to be there and just enjoy the moment. So now I'm going to show you what the day involved. that's it so today's Saturday I'm recording this on a Saturday I've got today off I've actually got the whole weekend off I haven't picked up any bank shift this week I'm spending the weekend relaxing taking some time out although today even though I said I was going to be relaxing I'm probably going to look at my assignment because I'm just I don't know what's wrong with me <laughs> I just I feel like I should look at my assignment and just make a start on it and then at least then when it's out the way I've got nothing I've got no work to do other than revision and my maths so I'm gonna do that so have a great Sunday everyone I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are whatever you're doing whether you're working day off however you're watching this video if it's not a Sunday I hope you're having a great day whatever day of the week it is and I'll see you all next week